am here at the Temesco Farmers Market, one of the oldest neighborhoods in Oakland, California. And today we'll be walking around with John and Christian, owners of The Uncommon Pickle, as they shop for organic produce for their specialty product. So here we are with uh, Christian and John. Here at the Temesco Farmers Market, you can see the booths in the back. Yeah. Yep. And we're going to be doing some shopping this morning for Uncommon Pickle. Exactly. I'm glad they invited me. Yeah, thank you for coming. So yeah. glad they came. We just got a case order for the green beans um, by the local butcher shop. They're a new butchery in North Berkeley, uh, in North Berkeley on Shattuck, Shattuck and Cedar. They're really, really awesome, like really organic, cool. local, grass-fed beef. And Sustainable butcher shop. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we really love what they do. And so we're very excited to like have this order and you know be able to fulfill it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so that's why we need to find a ton of green beans. Yeah. We're off to get more green beans. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Can you try green beans? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of here in Oakland. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We just wiped out the new farmers. We grow them more. Okay. So, Excuse me. Yeah, I think, I mean, especially if you're going to buy a larger quantity, how much are you thinking about buying? Probably like 10 pounds. Um, hey, Rose, how much do you, would you send, sell 10 pounds of green beans for? Um, they're $4 a pound, so it will be $40. You can do it for 30 You want to do it for 30 $10 off, but still a lot. Yeah. They're yummy. And they're really good. So the green bean season is super short. Um, luckily, I mean it's really it's really just like a summer vegetable. Luckily here in California we have some zones that are more temperate than others, so the season extends a little bit longer here than it does elsewhere. But um, you know we're trying to really stockpile right now so we can have you know get as many you know really good vegetables as we can before the season's over. These, let's check these out. Yeah, they look pretty good. Supposed to be really sweet. You taste yeah, Did you try one? No, I haven't, yeah, really? but I will. Thank you. <laughs> They're crunchy and yummy. Yeah. yeah. Let's get these weighed up. Yep. Checking out the graves. Mm -hmm. We're at Sunrise Farms. Okay. They're in Morosi. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but it's yummy grape. Yeah. Ninety-two cents, and I'm like, come on. I'm looking for grapes to go for go with our in our pickled grape recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like these black grapes. They have a have like a thin skin, and there's no seed. Really? And is this a new uh, experiment for you? Exactly. So we're. We're looking for grapes right now to experiment, develop a recipe for, and eventually, you know, jar and sell and share with other people. So I think they'd be really good pickled grapes. Too soft. Too soft. Too soft. This one is fun. These are really good too. We could try a couple different varieties. Why don't we grab a few of them? Yeah. Mm, no, they're all really good. They're yummy. They're a little big. Mm. A little big. Some of them are small, you know? Yeah. I'm going to grab a bag. So, you're going to use these for? Um, we're going to try and uh, we're gonna cure these and um, develop a recipe for and experiment and taste. We're going to yeah, mm. cure small loaves. Do you guys make olive oil as well? No. No. I have a question. How do you cure them? Though? How do you cure them? There's though? a number of ways. Yeah, you can do... Yeah, I'm, I'm more experienced than I am at this. You can do like a quick water cure and just let the olives sit in water and salt for, you know, about a month. And they'll lose like their bitterness. 
um, or you can do uh, a brine cure, which is um, what I prefer to do. It's like vinegar, and salt, and water. I got the. Yeah, I've you should do it. Yeah, really try it. How many olive trees do you guys have? Not five. five. Mm -hmm. Did you try? Have you tried one of these? Oh, They're like so this bitter. Is the that it's like Everything's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Not so good right now. Yeah. So I'm here with Uncommon Pickle, and we're going to talk about how this all got started for you guys. So tell me a little bit about what inspired you. <laughs> well, um, we both we love both love pickles, and I think that. We started going to these uh, underground farmers markets and seeing what, what other people were doing, what they were pickling and tasting, and um, it was cool to see to see what el what other people were doing and just realize that you can really pickle anything. Um, and so we wanted to like move on from there and um, yeah, we saw like we saw what was out there and we were like, hey, we can we can do stuff like this too. You know, this yeah. seems like really fun. Yeah. And uh, you know, totally possible, and it was kind of like the self-realization you know, that we could yeah. you know, make something and it's people will like it and people will want to buy it. Yeah. And then coming to the farmers market is yeah. so inspiring because we just see, you know, all this beautiful, seasonal, colorful, mm -hmm. bright produce. Mm -hmm. And our goal is really to like take what take what like these you know hardworking people with nature are producing and just like kind of preserve it in a really beautiful, interesting, exactly. delicious way. Yeah. It's beautiful. So we just want to share our, our pickle discoveries and, you know, <laughs> you know what we find tasty, you know. Yeah, so. and I've tried um, a couple of things. I've tried the cauliflower, that was delicious. Um, yeah. I've tried the cherries, fantastic. I bought a, a jar of those. Yeah. And what else did you have that night? Oh, the green beans, which you're going to make more of. Yeah, right. and then um, we have some pickled fennel that we do with a little orange rind, and we're going to start experimenting with grapes right. and uh, carrots are on the menu for next week. And you yes. ordered some? We ordered tonight. some really colorful, beautiful carrots yes. from BB Farms. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to make some spicy carrots. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and last winter we, s we started out making some artichokes, so hopefully we're going to be able to pick those back up again because artichokes are so delicious. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, thank you for um, walking me around the farmer's market, yeah, Christian, you. John. Yeah, thanks so much. And we'll uh, continue this episode at the Toast uh, Kitchen, yeah, where I'm you will sure. be pickling items, and I hope to cover that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah.